So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns for May 13th through the 20th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. And let's see what's going on. Capricorns for May 13th through the 20th. So before we get into this, if you do want to see the full version of this, it will be listed below on Patreon. It's only $5 a month for you guys to join. So if you are interested in seeing all the other signs for all the weeklies, honestly, definitely make sure you sign up for that. It's a really, really good deal. Also, if you are interested in booking me for a personal reading or purchasing any of my crystal healing jewelry or my abundance kits, if that is something that you're interested in, and also like my money oils and whatnot, that will be listed on my site, www.mysticalcrystals.com. Again, everything you need to reach out to me or book me or anything of that sort will be listed in the description box. So give me a second to tune into your energy, guys. All right. So Capricorns, for May 13th through the 20th, I do feel as if it is important for you guys to make sure that, and I'm actually going to look in the book for this one. Um, it is important that you guys make sure that with any sort of situations here that you feel like are out of your control, that you are actually realizing your power and that no matter how confused you are, no matter how lost you may be feeling, it is important that you understand your personal power, okay? Um, also, for some of you guys as well, what I will say, you need to make sure that you are finding some sort of way to raise your vibration if you are feeling like you're short on energy, okay? I also feel like... With whatever major or like any sort of drama that may be going on around you, you do need to make sure that you are stopping yourself from, like I said, staying stuck in that energy, staying stuck in that vibration. Um, maybe you're waiting for some changes to happen, but whatever is kind of holding you back, you do need to make sure that you're not letting yourself just feel oppressed for some reason. I really, I don't know if I just repeated that so many times, but just stop feeling this oppressed feeling like you guys don't have any sort of say in your life situation for some reason okay but moving past that with the fourth chakra showing up here this is all about you guys working on your vibration of love compassion and also self-acceptance okay with this card showing up i really feel like now you guys have a greater chance of like really receiving love or a greater need for you guys to open up to love and actually receiving it from others and as well as yourself because this is all about self-acceptance so I do feel as if there is some much needed healing that is going to be coming into you guys especially from a heartbreaking situation that may have already taken place and you guys just haven't really had the chance to do so um, I also feel like for some of you guys, if that isn't the case, making sure that you are tending to any sort of heartbreak that you may be feeling, because that may be causing some issues here as well. Um, but moving beyond that, I also feel like with decision making this week, it is going to be kind of hard for you guys to clearly decide which way you want to go with the situation. And I feel like with you guys having two directions that you guys can choose between, it is important that you guys do sit back, really meditate, think, 
come to some sort of conclusion when it comes to, okay, what is the best way to go about this or the best way to exit out of this energy of feeling tied up into a situation here. But um, taking some time to yourself to really rest and rejuvenate is really going to be important so that you guys can get that inner understanding of what you need to walk away from so that you can actually attract more into your life. But the card I do want to address, we do have words of abundance. And this card says you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own in the world economic situation in a loving and optimistic term. And this is what you will attract for yourself and others. So making sure that you are actually speaking things into existence, saying that I am rich, actually affirming things that you actually want to come true and what you know will come true if you actually put the work forth, okay? So definitely make sure that you're affirming this abundance, affirming these changes you want in your situation. And then also with this, it says, I practice forgiveness. And it says, forgiveness is freeing. By forgiving yourself and others, you are allowing yourself to move forward with confidence and peace. Open up to all the love and joy you deserve by letting go of what no longer serves you. So this is allowing yourself to release this energy of, okay, well, this person did this to me. This person did that to me. So I'm still going to like hate them and I'm still going to, you know, carry this disdain for them. That does nothing for you at the end of the day. Um, and the best thing for you to do is to release that because that built up hurt that built up anger does nothing but fester with inside you and doesn't like I said provide that healing energy that you need to move past that so definitely forgive others due to the fact that it's just not healthy to keep grudges okay but what's going on with my Capricorn's love life for May 13th through the 20th May 13th through the 20th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns. What's going on with their love life? So my Taken Capricorns, my Single Capricorns, and the overall advice. Alrighty. So what I'm seeing here for my Taken Capricorns, I do have chemistry and then I have unrequited love here. Okay. So with both of these cards being here, I feel like there is sexual chemistry here, yes. But for some reason, there may be not enough physical attraction or just attraction in general to keep this connection going for some reason. For some of you guys, the connection may be very one-sided at certain points due to the fact that somebody's just not pleased with how things may have been going for some time. Or again, there is some imbalance in the way that one person may be feeling and another person may be feeling, but I'm definitely seeing some issues with that. And what I'm seeing for my single Capricorns, I do have keep an open mind and I do have separation. So with this, I do feel like some of you guys, you may have recently been separated or you guys have been separated for some time. And the issue may be you guys keeping an open mind to new opportunities that may be trying to come in or to a new person that may be trying to come in as well, who may be different than your usual type. But the universe is saying, open yourself up. Okay. And the overall guidance here, I have, it is safe for you to love and playfulness. And with this, I feel like the universe is urging you to, yes, test the waters and see how things are going to go. But also with you testing the waters, like I said, open yourself up to flirt, to be playful, to enjoy the moment instead of just being very closed off and very stern as well. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move forward and lay the cards out. So what's going on with my Capricorns for May 13th through the 20th? May 13th through the 20th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns for May 13th through the 20th. Whoa. Okay, give me a sec, guys. Capricorn. 
Capricorns for May 13th. Okay, energy coming into this week. Last week's energy, the guidance, the focus, and the outcome. Alrighty. So what I'm seeing right off the bat, I am seeing that you guys are feeling a sense of dissatisfaction or for some of you guys like regret or not regret, excuse me, rejection. But for a lot of you guys, just more dissatisfaction, like boredom, um, being fed up with how things are and kind of just sitting in that energy. And for some of you guys, like this may be due to the fact that there may be some issues between you and your person. Um, like outside people affecting the relationship or just conflict in general. And for some of you guys, you may be trying to communicate back and forth with this person to see if you guys can start all over again. But I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who is a little emotionally immature and you guys do want concrete energy within your relationships, but I just feel like this person may be imbalanced or there is a need for somebody to make a decision about um, who they're going to deal with because I am seeing a lot of people here but what I am seeing coming into this week I do have the knight of wands energy and clarifying that I do have the high priestess so I do feel as if there is this hot and cold energy when it comes to somebody that you guys may be dealing with you may be trying to use your intuition when it comes to this person and making sure that you guys are keeping it together emotionally as well and for some of you guys you do feel for this person deeply but again there's just hot and cold energy within the connection due to the fact that there may be secrets or outside people affecting this as well okay um but what i am seeing for the past energy i do have the queen of pentacles clarified by the judgment card so in the past, I do feel as if you guys were more focused on making some decisions here. It could be some money decisions that you guys are trying to make or just decisions in general when it came to what you guys were dealing with. For some of you guys as well, you may have wanted to reconcile with someone, but really at a crossroads about whether or not it was going to be successful or if you were actually going to get attention from this person. Okay. But the guidance for this week, I do have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Two of Wands. So for this week, I do feel as if you guys do need to make sure that you're not sitting in this energy of regret. Kind of like I was saying in the beginning, making sure that you guys are practicing forgiveness for anything that you guys may be um, still stuck on and having issues with moving forward from, okay? And for some of you guys, you may need to decide which way you're going to go about communicating with somebody who you need clarity from but more than anything i do feel as if you guys do need to walk away from things where you really can't get control over okay especially if you're not emotionally being fulfilled here but the focus for this week i do have the moon card and clarifying that i do have the knight of wands so with this being here, I do feel as if it is important or the focus for you guys is to, like I said, um, come into a space of clearing up like any unsure energy for some of you guys. Again, it's just very, you guys are feeling very hot and cold, okay? Or you guys are dealing with this like unsure energy about something that you may want to embark on and you may be at a crossroads about whether or not this is going to work for others of you again it's like you guys being unsure about a relationship that you want to be in especially since there may be other people attached or issues with you guys working together but definitely trying to communicate with this person and see where things could go But for the outcome of this week, I do have the Hierophant. Clarifying that, I do have the Two of Cups and the Five of Swords. So I do feel as if some of you guys, you will be reflecting more on your relationship and any sort of like mind games that may be being played here. Or for some of you guys, if like you did break up from your person, you will be reflecting back on this person for some reason. For others of you as well, it's like... You guys just being in the space of really being unsure about your relationship, like I said. But 
I'm going to finish this off on the other side. If you guys do want to see that, again, it will be on Patreon. And if you do want to book me or purchase crystal healing jewelry, definitely make sure you check out my site, www.mysticalcrystals.com. It will be in the description box. And I will talk to you beautiful Capricorns on the other side. Bye, guys.